1974 was the beginning when the the Brazilian government had decided to uh, build a road inside the Yanomami territory. I was there. It's something that really changed my whole experience again uh, with the Yanomami. I uh, saw all the tragedy that the road building brought, uh, the disease that started to spread. Here we have a, a picture from Pa Apiu. It's where the gold miners settled down and destroyed the community of Papiu and it was like a essential moment to understand what was going on and the destruction that it created where hundreds of uh, gold miners used it as a, a landing field and from where they uh, uh, went to the other uh, villages where they landed and stayed and uh, poisoned the rivers and, and destroyed everything. Look, up till that point, there was no malaria in that region. Uh, the mosquitoes existed, but since nobody had been there who had been contaminated, uh, malaria didn't exist. And it was with the road builders who already had malaria uh, that malaria spread. And uh, at the time, nobody had uh, experience in what to do with this disease. Um, obviously, the Yanomami didn't know. And uh, there was no health project that went along. Uh, with this invasion of uh, their territory, the opening of the road, uh, uh, the cutting down of the trees to build the roads. In a way, I, I almost gave up photography. I mean, I was in the end more involved in uh, trying to help health-wise, and I learned how to give injections and to discover how malaria starts and all these things. Uh, I had uh, no choice. Uh, the, the people who worked on the road, uh, the road workers, uh, they also were, actually many of them were Indians also, who came from other Indian groups. Uh, to be able to get some job and uh, some money. And they were also unprepared people. Many of them died themselves. I consider them my family. And up till today, I need them. And I will defend them and try to to speak about the importance of of uh, defending them and give them a chance to to live in nature the way they wish i i will do this until the end of my life <laughs>